Hello, and welcome to Taylor Talk. You don't have to be afraid to put your dream in action. You're never gonna fade, you'll be the main attraction. This week is not only fabulous and extraordinary, but it's gorgeous by Paul Rudnick. Protagonist Becky Randall's life is changed when her mother dies and one phone call takes her away to the Big Apple. Becky Randall is left in a small East Trolley trailer park in Missouri after her mother passes away and a phone number she found in her clothes gave her a deal of a lifetime. She went to New York where she met Tom Kelly, the world's top fashion designer. He gave her a deal that if he can take three dresses, put them on her with any makeup he wants, she will become the most beautiful woman on the world. Of course, Becky doesn't believe this will work because she doesn't have high self-esteem and doesn't think she's too beautiful. After their first dress, which was the red one, she gets famed from the sighting of her and Tom Kelly. After that, she meets her favorite celebrity stars in movies and meets the love of her life, or so she thinks. Rebecca's journey consists of three things. Beauty, self-esteem, and love. These things not only transform Becky into Rebecca Randall, but transforms Becky into someone she never knew before. Becky really thinks she's enjoying her life, especially with all the luxuries. But when she meets certain people, especially the people she falls in love with, there's really a question of who loves her. Becky or Rebecca? Not knowing what to do, Becky is really in a bind. As the plot unfolds more, there's more questions, there's more burning questions, and everything just starts to crumble, especially for Becky. It's going down. I'm yelling to my. You better move. You better dance. Let's make Sometimes being fake and overdramatic doesn't help someone, especially when it comes down to who loves them. And that's why you gotta plunge into reality. Plunge into the truth. The love she was so profound with was with Prince Gregory, the Prince of England. And Becky would never think she would love someone. But a spark ignited within herself and with Gre Prince Gregory. But as the days flew on and the beauty was still on her face and on her clothes and not in her heart, Prince Gregory was just immensely in love with Rebecca Randall. But that's not what Becky wanted. Becky wanted him to love Becky for her. Becky's love for Gregory slowly drifted away. And once this happened, she told him the truth. She told him that she wasn't beautiful on the outside. She was beautiful on the inside. And Prince Gregory didn't take that too well. Not only did Prince Gregory shut her out of his life, but he put her down. Prince Gregory realized that he doesn't need someone who's beautiful on the outside as much as the inside. In the middle of a conference, he said, out to Becky Randall, I love you, will you marry me? Becky was so confused of what to do. But after a short while, she said, Gorgeous by Paul Rednick is an amazing journey through one's adventure of fashion, fame, fortune, and love. It really shows you that love is not physical in a way, but is from the inner soul. And that connects two people together. Just like Becky, Rebecca Randall, and Prince Gregory overall self-identity was brought through survival and social media, self-confidence and intimate love between you and someone else who loves you for you. So if you want to get whisked away in an adventure of elegance and masked love, make sure you turn on your minds for Gorgeous is definitely the book for you. Told her that she she can make.
a black one and a white one. <clears throat> Tom Kelly, without knowing what to do, she asks her friend, and she a <laughs> This week's edition is fabulous. I wish I was in as much hot water as Becky, but... Ah! ...really come together, except for Tom Kelly. <laughs> ...so much is not really good. Uh, uh, down for this. So he... And really makes yourself see yourself. Ah! It can be inner, it can be outer, it can be. Sh <laughs>